all aboard, everyone. Princess the Bear here, your number one choice in foodie infotainment has returned to Disney Springs, and for one thing and one thing only. The Boathouse. Yes, yes, I know. I've been the number one person trying to get us not to come back here. This place has always let me down, but I'm hoping it's time for their redemption. It's been a couple years since we've been here, so we're just going to see what it's like now that they're back. Let's get right on the boat. Be sure to enjoy the views. You heard the girl. The beautiful, the classic, the I, I feel like you're obligated to order this duck duck raz. Very, very popular. You do need to modify it to make it vegan because they do put egg white in it. Also, for people with egg allergies, I'll oh, pretty. It's like a nice, strong vodka drink. I'm not mad at it. It's very strong on the blue carousel, but that's it's flavoring. I'm gonna give it a three out of five rubber duckies. It's not the best drink that I've had um, here. Not the best mixed drink. I, I think I prefer the Fountain of Youth at um, Hanger Bar more, but this one's pretty good. Let's be real. Everybody comes here specifically for the duck duck fries and duck duck fries only. I rarely hear people say they come here just to come to the boathouse. You just want a rubber ducky in your drink. And there's nothing wrong with that. We love fun beverages. And a rubber ducky floating around looking me in the eye while I sit down the content of the pool and it's floating in is something that I'm here for. I wish more bars carry. There is actually, uh, as the princess stated, there's usually egg whites in this drink to make it foamy. They make a bar mixer egg white alternative that's vegan that more bars should adopt. You don't need egg whites. Why, why go through all that? Or aquafaba. Or aquafaba. Feels like I just sell the ocean blue. That's the only taste I get. It's ocean blue. Our blue raspberry, I guess, but we're gonna call that blue. We're calling it blue. Still as strong as ever. It's that iconic boathouse drink. There are better drinks at Disney Springs. I'm sure a lot of you will come from me after saying that, but it's true. It's still pretty good. Four out of five plus. So the princess got the duck duck grass, and I got the duck duck beer. Instead of doubling down, are we quadrupling down on the duck? So this is their unique in-house beer. You can't get this beer anywhere else here. Uh, it is unconfirmed vegan. We've actually emailed them before trying to get an answer. One of those is vegan and never heard back. So none for the princess, more for me. Maybe a nice frosted glass to enjoy it in. It smells like a lager. It's nice and refreshing. It goes down smooth. It's not like uh, it's got some character to it, some layers. If you're not a duck duck rice person and you've tasted it before and you don't like that, you will probably like something a bit smoother, like the duck duck beer, if you're a beer person. I would give it 3.75 out of 5 points. These rolls remind me of an Archer episode. Yes, we still watch Archer, at least I do. Uh, nice, buttery rolls. Uh, obviously not vegan, they are covered. Look at them, they're glistening. You ain't seen buns this glistening since the Jacksonville Beach. Or any Florida Beach for that matter. Oh no. That's honey. That's definitely not vegan. Nice fresh roll, crisp outside, super small. Warm and mm, smooth inside. That's peak table bread. You and your friends will fight over this if you can eat it. Four and a half out of five points. I got these two tacos. The pasta is still available from the last time we came, but these tacos are new. Tacos are a brand new addition to the menu. They actually have like a mahi mahi, I think it is, taco. Some sort of fish taco, but you can modify it, make it vegan. The sauce is new, which I'm excited to try. I got some fresh lime to go with it, so I'm just gonna do a lime here. 
All right. I feel like this is gonna be a challenge. I also feel like Fontanera has a run for its money because this is a stacked top. Oh my god, it's so drippy. It's so messy, but incredibly tasty. This is like 10 times better than the pasta. I would say if you were forced to come here as a vegan with some Omnis, I, I used to be like, please try to convince them to go somewhere else, but now with this, oh my gosh, you'd be golden. This is fab. This is a five out of five. This is a princess city's item. This is how you taco. Definitely, I like these better than Frontenero's tacos. It's better than the eggplant combo. Fire. Delicious looking veggie tacos. Nice and wet. If you don't like wet tacos, you might be disappointed here, but they are dripping. Dripping in the sauce. Which means they are seasoned. But that's not just normal juice. They definitely cook these veggies, season them nice and nice. Being these tacos. Let's try with this sauce. Vegetable tacos. And given the array of the kitchen, it can be a very mixed bag. You may end up with like cauliflower and corn. You end up with like asparagus and mushroom. This boy has asparagus, mushroom, cabbage, Tomato, zucchini, everything you normally see in their vegetable pasta with a bit of lime, but they seasoned it to be taco. And that's the key. The flavor and the seasonings are on point. They have been very adamant every step of the way, making sure that everything was prepared correctly. And this shows the character of the kitchen. This is a 4.75 out of 5 pause. The only knock is they're almost too wet. I'm afraid that if you let them sit too long, they'll fall apart. Other than that, they're amazing. I really thought I only had two tacos. I have three. But, um, it's getting very liquidy here. This is like barrio taco level. Very wet. I'm still gonna eat it. I might take home some of this because this is very appealing. This is way more appealing than I expected it to be. I expected to leave all three. I'm gonna leave stuff. Here we have the coriander seared yellowfin tuna. Uh, now the waiter talked me into this one. Uh, normally when I come here, I usually either get the mahi-mahi or the lobster roll, lobster roll. On the better side of the ones you get in Disney Springs, more traditional, you get it buttered or cold. But this sort of like sparked my interest. I was expecting something like little slices of ahi tuna, like in the normal like ahi tuna, but it's, it's a yellowfin tuna, so it's a different sort of presentation. We're just going to dive right in. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a piece. I'll tell you that cutting food for camera and not blocking the food is an art form. Here you see that coriander all on it. Nice and seared. Just the outside seared rare right on the inside. Look at that. Oh, well, that is way too big a piece. I'm going to choke on that. Cut that again. There we go. That's more manageable. That's like sushi tuna, the way that goes down. Super fresh cut. And outside to the coriander. It's a little more spicy side because there's some wasabi in there as well. A nice little heat. I still got 3.5, maybe a solid 4 out of 10 on the heat scale, but a very nice flavor to it. So it's like heat with flavor. Let's go ahead and try it with everything. So you have some, got a little bit of more of the sauce in here. You got these. Two kinds of peppers. And we're gonna do one big, super saucy, super spicy bite. I think those are the same peppers you get from Toledo. They look like the peppers, peppers you get from Toledo. Mm. If synchronized fish cooking were a sport, give me this plate. I'm getting like pictures of Bugs Bunny old cartoons doing the like swim kick thing like the surface of the water and the designs and I know it's not sport too but who watches that? Anybody that does watch that, that is a joke. Don't come for me. This is actually pretty good. 
Now it's $37. It's a bit of an expensive side, but it's a seafood dish, a seafood restaurant. But the flavors here really do something right. This is a solid dish. I would give it 4.25 out of 5 claws. I would recommend this if you come here. If I'm comparing this to Todd English Blue Zoo in the Dolphin, this feels a bit fresher ingredients, but the flavors are neck and neck. This is a drink as big as my head with ears. So huge. It does taste like a light blueberry lemonade. It's like a watered down grown up lemonade from Hollywood Studios, Woody's Lunchbox, but not as good. Grown up's lemonade is way better, but they do taste very similar. I'm not into the amount of ice that they have. The carbonation is nice. I'm glad they gave it to go cups. I would give this like a two and a half out of five lemonades. I feel like there's other mixed drink lemonades that we've had at like Disney property that are like way better than this one. Zero reminds me of Star Wars Weekends because you know what? I miss Star Wars Weekends. And Disney, even if you brought it back, I would pay a lot of money. But if you ever seen the Stormtroopers at Star Wars Weekends, you know that Stormtroopers are our own worst enemy, as I am with anything with the word lemonade in the title plus alcohol. If you put lemonade in something and you add an adult beverage, I am going to order it. There are no exceptions. Watermelon. Pineapple. Blueberry, in this case. It's gonna get drank. This is a tall drink. It looks to be mostly ice. But uh, there's no manly way to drink out of straw, so just don't even try. The less manly you are when drinking it, the better. I like it, it's more lemonade than blueberry. Carbonation is light. Doesn't really get in the way. I'm not getting like minute made carbonated lemonade vibes, which is good. It's drinkable. Don't be too intimidated because of all the ice. If you are a normal Disney day drinker of sorts, you're going to plow right through this. 3.75 out of 5. I was a mistake. I have thrown a lot of shade at Boathouse over the years as being one of those Same. restaurants that you can walk right by and just get drunk and keep going. This seems I might have been not 100% correct. It's been some years since we've been here and I think that taking a couple years off did this restaurant good. Yes. They make all their stuff fresh to order and you can tell and it's amazing. I, I got leftovers and my corn tacos may disintegrate but they are corn so they'll hold their shape so I can just double corn it at home. It'll be amazing. If she don't eat them I definitely will. I definitely think now this is a place to come visiting when you're an Omni and vegan one way or the other. This place is on the ups Agreed. for now. For now, I'm still keeping an eye on you. You're on like foodie probation at this point. But I don't know what you guys think about house. What is this rank on your list of like Disney Springs food choices? Let us know in the comments below. If there's anywhere else you can see us go, of course, the comments will always be the place to find us. Hit the notification bell. We'll see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear might eat himself into a duck duck res and never return. I'm still in the boat and going on a joyride, but you heard the girl.